it was really hard being in mainstream media as a conservative, and there were all those weird things going on behind the scenes, and way more I can tell you. I had uh, one morning I like casually said that I was a NRA member, and a mother. <laughs> A mother contacted the FCC, the Federal Communications Commission, said that this girl is dangerous to children. She needs to be taken off the air. She's a threat. Um, you need to take her off. And so, like, our legal team had to say they, they had no idea what was going on because the that FCC is the government. So the government contacted my, media, my company that I work for and said, like, what did your co-host, your morning show girl, say on the air this morning? We have people complaining, saying she needs to be taken off the air. Because usually you contact the FCC, it's because you drop an F-bomb or something. And I was like, I don't know. I don't know what I said. And then we had to go back through the tape, and then it was me saying I was an NRA member. That's what she said was so dangerous and, you know, hor horrifying that I needed to be taken off the air. So there was a lot of stuff like that. Um, and... Anyway, it, basically I'm telling you this to tell you that it's going to take a lot of brave conservatives who don't stop at being told no to win this culture war. You have to keep going and you have to um, keep looking for ways, I think, especially if you feel a calling to be in politics, but you don't necessarily want to be in like hard news or debating. There are other avenues for you. That's not what my avenue is. That's I don't enjoy it. It's not fun for me. But I like being able to talk lifestyle and dating and pop culture and keeping up with the Kardashians. And then whenever they, you know, say something where I can give something conservative, then I will. Um, but there is room for you in this movement even if you don't want to necessarily run for office or something.